record. Hopefully uh, the recordings tonight will be quieter than usual. We'll put a new CPU in and a big uh, honking CPU cooler in that will uh, keep the fans from screaming so badly. You may be wondering what we're looking at right now and what we're looking at is... Yeah, that's right. Infidel. We're looking at the box of Infidel instead of the game. But here's the game. And here's what we got. We've got really nice maps as usual, GMT standard quality, paper, double-sided printed. And this bad boy <coughs> is uh, combat, primarily cavalry-based combat. Uh, the counters, as you can probably see there, are quite nice looking. Let me turn the stereo down a little bit. In fact, let's turn the stereo off. So, quite nice looking. It was interesting that I, I was kind of disappointed when I first punched these guys or looked at the counter sheets because, you know, that's, there's this huge warp here and I was expecting the counters not to sit right and everything. But I tell you what, these counters punched better than any GMT game I've punched lately. I must admit, though, that uh, it was a little, they felt a little small, smaller than usual, but that might be just perception. So, anyway, it would appear that our first battle is somewhat one-sided. We have approximately uh, 8 or 10 units here <coughs> versus the hordes of, uh, of I nearly said Saladin. Uh, uh, in fact, it is Saladin, I'm sorry. I was thinking of Solomon <laughs> from the Bible. Never mind, a wise man. So, <clears throat> we've got a disorganized army here. We have all these little Ds here are the flip side of the units in their regular formation, or regular uh, uh, mode, I should say. And let me hold these up. So that's what they look like regularly. And then when you flip them over, they're disordered. And then you go through some exercises to uh, either eliminate them or actually uh, they, they decide they've had enough and they retreat back to their flag. And that's when, if you do nothing else in an activation cycle, just a typical uh, Richard Berg style activation sequence and uh, you know rotation through commanders and things like that, if you choose to do nothing and, and, and recover units, you can recover from uh, being disordered or retreating or whatever the case may be. So <clears throat> we've got this battle mostly set up. It's a kind of a surprise uh, event. It's the, uh, it occurred in 1177, November 25th. Montesgard is the uh, name of the battle, the Frankish Kingdom of Jerusalem. So it's the Franks. And they have some Templar Knights who are extraordinarily tough, I'll show you them. The minus three is a reflection of their uh, ability to um, charge and deal with damage and uh, all sorts of fun things. Uh, I, I've only read the rules once. I just got this set up and we're gonna, I'm going to run through it in a stop motion format so that you don't get bored with me looking at the rules. And they've got some other Knights here. Basically the high, the negative on these counters the the more powerful the unit is uh, so you've got your classic heavy cavalry versus light nimble kind of numidian style i would call it uh, archer cavalry or javelin cavalry these are all archer cavalry so it's gonna be fun i'm looking forward to it and i just thought i'd introduce you to the game they're great uh, <clears throat> i've scanned the charts but uh, nice charts uh, full color. And I have uh, a terrain chart for each map uh, or each battle. And then on this side, you've got nice summaries here. So what's the reluctance of a cavalry unit to charge given the, the folks they're charging against? Uh, there's a concept of counter charging here, which I really like because I felt that uh, Great Battles of History didn't really deal with the static nature of... Uh, cavalry just receiving a charge so the counter charge concept is kind of cool uh, works pretty neatly we've got uh, you can counter charge and then if you're unsuccessful with your counter charge it ends up being a, a shock combat 
so uh, interesting things there. You've obviously got missile fire, and then down here, uh, light cavalry can retreat before combat, which will be interesting to see how that happens. And then you know you've got your combat results and stuff. I know that's not terribly clear, but <clears throat> point is you can see the charts on this one. We've got more. Um, movement and terrain charts so nicely done the rules are good uh, important examples where required primarily for zones of control missile fire and shock combat and counter charging so you know what to do and the rules are nice and light I gotta say it's the first bird game I've seen that has 16 pages of rules or 15 technically I guess well 16 has the extended sequence of play and there's a one-page example of combat on page 15. So really, uh, somewhere once you get past the introduction and all that little jargon, you're really only dealing with a dozen pages of rules, which is relatively simple, uh, as we all know. For, uh, not that I don't like bird games, just that I often struggle with I'm not that smart. All right, let's go.